All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we've got uh, Masters of Might and Magic here, and I'm going to start a new series called Meg Mondays or Might and Magic Mondays. Um, I've been playing this game and enjoying it quite a bit, but I don't feel like I have enough content uh, to showcase things f super often. So whenever I feel like there's something worth talking about, we'll we'll put it out on a Monday. That way, the Might and Magic fans know to look for it on Monday, and the Summoner's Wars fans know that okay, Monday's not my thing. So let's take a look at what's going on in my progression. Um, last free rune removal was really big for me. Basically, all I did is I concentrated everything on my Wrath 10 team. Uh, going into it, I was able to clear Wrath 8, and by the end of it, I was able to clear Wrath 10, which was great. So really, the only units I have ruined up are the Wrath 10 team. Um, I had to decide on which unit to 5-star for that event that required a 5-star. So I 5-starred my Mountain Rakshasha after lots of testing at 4-star from everybody. He... He turned out to be the best choice for me. So let's take a look at the Wrath 10 team. This is my Water Tree. He, without him, I don't think I could do it. He is so, so good and so crucial. Um, he's on Vitality Haste, and he's about 122 speed, 17,000 HP, and he's got two Purple Runes, so I've been slowly getting Purple Runes. And my strategy for Purple Runes is to spread them out evenly over my team so that they all level up at the same time. I don't want one OP monster. I want five above average monsters. So that's uh, that's my water tree. Here is my Icy Kitsune, who's my healer for my Wrath 10 team. Um, again, you can see the stats fairly fast. Yeah, maybe not that fast. Good HP, good defense, and he is on broken uh, vitality. And it's only because this rune is so, so good. Um, I baxed it out, but it's a speed rune with seven extra speed, 10 resist, some flat HP. It's just too good to leave off something and I don't have a good set for it so it gets a broken rune. I would like to have a full appeasement set but I haven't done that yet. So the other monsters I have, I've got my Frost, Frost Smurg and you'll notice there's two purple runes there as well. He's on Precision Vitality and then the Lightning Unicorn is the other unit I use on Haste Vitality. So you can see there's a couple purple runes on every monster. Oh we didn't look at the Mountain Rakshasha. He's got um, Life Steal and Defense. So that's kind of what he's doing there. Um, his HP is pretty good. His defense is pretty good. And he's just, I've been slowly working on him uh, little by little. Now, I tried the Water Serpicor in my team, but he was not as stable, especially after the patch um, where the boss got tougher. He was just getting wrecked. And I think it has something to do with his stats and something to do with just not having the utility of the Mountain Rakshasha. And I think what the Mountain Rakshasha brings to the table for me, I couldn't quite figure it out, but I think I've. I think I've figured it out. It's this skill here. The attack down for two turns on a two-turn cooldown. So he's actually providing the survivability that the rest of my team lacks by putting everybody on attack down, especially the boss. So I'm getting hit not quite as hard. Um, the other thing that he allows me to do is ruin my monsters not on double speed on their two slot, or on their first, first thing here. Speed, speed. He's on double speed, but my tree... Okay, my tree's on double speed. Huh, this is not really illustrating my point. Is my healer on double speed? No. Okay, good. Huh, that's what I was thinking. So he's on speed, flat defense. My bird is on speed, HP. And my unicorn is on speed, HP. So normally you would go double speed in those top two slots, but my Mountain Rakshasha is giving me extra attack bar from his third skill that's speeding up my whole team. He's refilling my the bars of all my allies by 40% every six turns um, and decreasing the speed of the enemy. So I found that by having him in there, he will lower them down, push me up, and I'll sort of cycle a little bit faster. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, this guy, after the buff, I'm interested in seeing how he works. I've not put anything into him yet, but we'll see. I think he, potentially he's a better damage dealer for Wrath 10, because he has elemental advantage over the boss. But I don't think he provides as much utility as the Mountain Rex Shasha, so we'll see. So all I'm doing, oh, I pulled this guy too, the Mountain Giant. He got buffed, but I have not looked into him too much. I've got a lot of nice three stars that I haven't put anything into. The Succubus, um, this guy for TOT, that girl is a healer. If you do have the Water Tree, I would do everything you can to max skill him. My Wrath 10 was not stable until he was max skilled. So I've max skilled my Water Tree, and I've max skilled my Icy Kitsune. And I've gotten the skill up on my Unicorn, the third skill. It only takes one, and so I got that. And then I'm going to be max skilling my Mountain Rex Shasha, because my thought is, is if you make him five star and you put a bunch into him, even the damage skill ups are worth it. So that's my plan. Like this is all just damage, but that's 25% more damage 
And then this is going to be 10% more damage and it's going to provide me 15% more bar when he does his skill. So I think that's my plan is to max skill him and then go from there. I think my next six star will be Water Tree just because he's so good. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really dipped into TOT other than using my Wrath Team. I've cleared floor 50 um, and I'm looking to progress from there. But I'm not, I haven't really thought about what I want to do. I just want to farm these runes so that all my good units are on yellow and then hopefully purple as time goes on so that's what's going on in uh might magic you know just kind of casually farming i'm not really doing arena really i'm just farming the arena points uh i think i need slightly different units for arena and i think i need at least four or five stars for arena to really push arena so i'm just going to be farming uh wrath 10 forever uh to increase my rune quality and then naturally as i level things up from missions and events and stuff like that then I'll jump into Arena. That's kind of my current thought. I don't want to spread myself thin. I want to focus, focus, focus on those runes because the the increased drop rates for Wrath 10, it's so much higher that to do anything else is you're hurting yourself big time. Like you're hurting yourself in terms of progression. Even if you have runes on an Arena team and a TOAT team and a kind of a Wrath 8 team, I say forget everything, go straight into Wrath 10 is kind of my theory. So that's what's going on with me in uh, Might and Magic, kind of short and sweet. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're having trouble with the Wrath 10 team, I think some of those creatures are the way to go. I don't have a Poisoner. I'm using the Poison Mail from the Water Tree, basically, and that works great. So if you are unsure, he is fantastic for that. Um, but good luck, everybody, and look forward to seeing where everybody's at on progression in Might Magic. Take care.